It's time for that word. Come on, somebody. Christ gives me strength to face anything. Philippians 4.13. Be blessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, hey, how are you doing? My name is Afi Elizabeth, and I hope you find this channel entertaining for yourself in your closet because we do fashion content over here. And also, we also do hair tutorials if you like to wear your hair a different style. Today's video, we are going to be dressing white booties, booties, boo boots, white boots. We're gonna be dressing white boots. I'm gonna show you guys different ways to style them for the fall and winter. White boots, sheesh, what can I say about white boots? White boots can be very intimidating if it's your first time owning a pair. Um, I have learned white boots are just like white sneakers, but, you gotta be smart about how you style them. The two pairs of white boots that I'm gonna be showing you guys are um, high boots, high knee boots, knee high boots. And then the second pair is the ankle boots. The knee high boots, I purchased it from Shoe Dazzle. I got the hookup for y'all. If you are purchasing a pair of Shoe Dazzle for the first time, yeah, if you are purchasing a pair of Shoe Dazzle shoes for the first time, <laughs> Make sure you sign up to the VIP list because sis, you get your first pair for $10. You're welcome. So I'm gonna leave the link down below. I got the hookup for y'all, okay? I got the hookup for y'all. I don't know what hookup it is, but it's the link. I guess that's the hookup. So sign up to that VIP membership. You can definitely cancel at any time you, you know, ready to cancel. My, my second pair of white booties I purchased from all those so if you are interested I will definitely leave the link down below to both pair of shoes that I purchased or should I say both pair of boots both pair of boots I'll leave the link to the boots down below but before we get started let's get into the outfit of the day because it's a lurk so starting off with my blazer I am in love with this shoulder pad blazer okay if you are following me on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram i highly recommend you to follow me on instagram because sis we have fun on instagram and you don't want to miss out on any good news on instagram uh, i am going to be launching my own clothing line and um the double breasted blazer will also be included in my launch that i'm going to be launching pretty soon in order for you to be notified when i launch all you have to do is click my uh link down below actually in my description box it will take you to my blog afelizabethlamon.com and the, the, the email list will pop up so you just all you have to do is just write your email list is and when i launch we will send you a we launch and you go by cha-ching anywho and for my legs whoop, you rude as far as my legs we are wearing tights um, these are very thick tights and because my blazer actually covers my backside, I have turned them into a dress type of look. And um, yeah, it's very comfortable. I can move, I can dance, I can do all kinds of humble-ish things um, in them. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And then my boots, because they made for walking, that's what they're going to do. My boots are from Just Fab. I accident I accidentally. I actually purchased some boots from Just Fab and I absolutely love these boots. And um you're gonna be seeing me wearing them a lot. I really am gonna be wearing these boots a lot. So if you like the look, I will leave the boots down below as well. Let me go get my ring. Because <laughs> we about to get some, I don't know. But let's let's get into this video, shall we? So for look number one, we are going to go for monochromatic styles. Uh, so for this style right here, I decided to go for an all black look, and I like this look because it reminds me of like all black with white sneakers. So if you do purchase this pair of boots, anything with black, it goes really well. If you do black and white, it would go really well. But for this look right here, I decided to do an oversized padded type of blazer on top of a dress that I bought from Target. Paired them off with my Steve Madden purse. And it's a look. 
it's a look it's very comfortable very cozy and you look chic sis you really do so for my second monochromatic look i decided to go for an all white now the boots are kind of like a little bit of a tan beige type of color which worked perfectly because it kind of throws off the all white a little bit kind of bounces it out so this dress right here is from h and m i did i did a haul on it i'll leave the link down below if you're interested and um the boots just brought everything together and of course if you want to cancel out the monochromatic vibe you could definitely go in with a tan trench coat which is also trending fall 2020 winter 21 and you are good to go i love this look by far my favorite so for my third look y'all sis has been quarantining okay my third look is another monochromatic vibe um <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna work on that suck it in because you need to but if you feel comfortable go ahead um so for my third look i'm gonna be doing another monochromatic if you don't like bright color it's okay um you can throw in all kinds of shade of pink or you can stick to your basic neutral colors which are you know tan white blacks all that good jazz so this is another monochromatic look that i absolutely love So my next look is by far one of my favorite. I didn't think I was going to like this, but it's another monochromatic look. And the dress is from Zara. I absolutely love the mint uh, color that we have going on this fall. And I paired, it, I paired this off with the blazer that I bought last year. I think it was like two years ago from H&M. And I absolutely love the off, you know, off throw a little bit. It's not like matching shade but i absolutely love this monochromatic look um by far one of my favorite looks in this entire video so yeah i'll leave the link down below now i, I know i know y'all saw that it's okay sis get yourself back up and let's go so the next look is uh just an idea type of look um it's just more about playing with colors um, this is actually a cardigan that I got from Shane.com. I love this cardigan. It's just showing you guys multiple ways to wear a cardigan. I turned it into a dress. It's a very thick cardigan, so you definitely cannot see through the cardigan. But if you are like me, sometimes I get skeptical or paranoid, I guess. I don't know. But you could definitely add some tights underneath that. Um, I decided to pair with my trench coat from uh north storm and um yeah i like it it's cute just multiple ways to wear a cardigan so for my next look is more of a i want to say inspirational type of look <laughs> i i was inspired by pinterest and i decided to try this look out um with white boots um i feel like it would have been better with black boots but um uh, me eh, eh. but uh, yeah so i decided to try it out and it didn't it doesn't look bad at all it doesn't look bad at all um the oversized tucked into boots is a look this year so why not check it out and this is how it came out the blazer is from j crew um the jumpsuit is from h&m as for my next look is more of a let me play around with the colors of the boots so we're going to be playing with the aldo uh, booties it's kind of like the ankle well it's not it is the ankle boots um and i played around with the colors from the boots so the colors if you can see um what am i saying the boots are black and white of course um so i decided to go with some pair of black jeans a little bit of distress and a pair of my go-to basic whites which are my dress shirts um, and then I added on a blazer. Now, the difference between this blazer and the rest of my blazer, it kind of like cinches into the waist. So it gives me like that curviness instead of giving me that oversized look. So this is more like of a fitted type of blazer. And um, yeah, I matched it with the boots. And uh, <laughs> it's a look. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Now for this look, I wanted to show you guys that uh, white boots can also be paired with with jumpsuits. Um, people call them differently in other countries, but jumpsuits is the word for me. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and go with a unique type of jumpsuit from Zara. I also play with the color of the jumpsuit. It's blue, white, and black. And I picked out the white 
and I decided to pair them with the white boots. And then I layered it up with my uh, beige trench coat. I absolutely love this trench coat. It's so beautiful. And um, yeah, so that's the look. So if you're more like of a minimal type of person, you don't want to overdo your looks. You could definitely go the easy route and do a jumpsuit that's a denim type of style. Um, denim jumpsuit go perfectly with white anything, white boots, white sneakers, white anything. Um, me, I like to add colors when I do such look, if I feel like I overdid the jumpsuits. So I decided to go ahead and add my Michael Jackson <laughs> blazer that I thrifted. This is really good. Red and white balance each other out so beautifully. So for my next look, I decided to go with, hey, mama, what the shoes you? Why me the shoes you? Sorry, so sorry. So for my next look, I was actually inspired by the trends that are out right now, and that is the 80s vibe and 70s. I decided to go with the wide leg pants, um, the jeans, and I paired them off with the vest. Those two things are, those two things are trending right now, and um, gave me a poetic justice type of vibe. So yeah, if you like these type of look, let me know below, and I'll try to link the items that I wore or something similar to that in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching.